I just said something about the first paragraph, and the first paragraph I told you that I, I was talking about uh, different uh, strategies of reading it. Uh, one is the canonical strategy, for example, you can divide this into three parts or four parts, okay? Generally, we divide in five parts, particularly plays, but story, short story, you can exposition and then development uh, of the conflict and then the climax, okay? Uh, then there may be other uh, uh, ways of reading, okay? But uh, our purpose is uh, altogether different. We are studying it uh, not only for entertainment and pleasure, but uh, for analyzing uh, it uh, to un understand uh, history, tradition, modernity, colonization, decolonization, language, etc. of India through Indian literature. Okay, that is uh, that is our purpose. So, in uh, that context, reading uh, it uh, is to understand both the strategy of telling the story at the same time, the strategy of uh, weaving all these uh, uh, time and space uh, of human culture here, particularly of Indian culture, Indian history, and uh, uh, other uh, references, uh, exchanges and civilizational exchange, uh, and uh, the presence of, uh, um, you know, uh, human uh, creativity, okay, uh, within it, okay. So the first paragraph goes like this. I've already told about you that it deals with the, uh, the road and then uh, uh, the structure of the village and the presence of a big house and colonial architecture, then the village uh, houses uh, made of uh, uh, thatch and uh, mud, and then Muni and Muni's wife, and Muni's uh, present status. And uh, we are also informed how his uh, fortunes declined uh, gradually, unnoticed, and, uh, and today, uh, he is uh, only left with, he is left with only two goats and uh, the goats are not very smart also. They are, uh, you know, so uh, he can't really make any living out of them. And then uh, he, uh, he has nothing to eat. So drumstick tree uh, from where he uh, gets some drumsticks and uh, uh, that he feeds uh, 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 himself as well as uh, his gods and uh, then the story proceeds uh, suddenly at one point uh, he asked for uh, his wife says uh, if you were content with the drumstick leaves alone I could boil and salt some of you some of you oh I am tired of eating those leaves he says I have a craving to chew the drumstick out of sauce. So he wants sauce, some sauce with the drumstick. And uh, that is one conflict. So this sauce takes him the story now. Till now we have already uh, passed two paragraphs. So in a way, one scene is over. Okay. And then the third paragraph starts where the desire of sauce has to be fulfilled. And another character, that is shopkeeper, uh, comes in this uh, in this uh, scenario. Okay, and then uh, in uh, here also we know more about Muni, Muni's character, and uh, uh, and how he talks uh, with the uh, the shopman. Okay, uh, that he is an old man and he understands. He has seen the life. Uh, so he understands that the shopkeeper should be uh, somehow put, be kept in good humor, okay? And uh, then the shopman, um, uh, have, we have a description of the shopman. So we get a character and uh, so we understand the village economy here. We understand the, uh, the, the role of market, okay? Uh, how, uh, how a village okay uh, how the village economy uh, uh, economy operates uh, and uh, the role of uh, currency that is uh, the uh, 
currency you know in village is a, a very empowering thing it is empowering in rural area urban area also but in village it is specially because uh, most of the tasks people do in village uh, are still not paid uh, cash okay there are other ways you know um, so that's why migration happens a lot of people migrate from villages the reason of that is uh, there is a begar pratha begar pratha is in which people work and they are not paid a little money is paid or they will they will be paid in goods okay or uh, in, in other ways for example um, you buy you you take some money and that money could not be returned and uh, you have to pay interest but you can't pay then so you are going to that person's farm and working so you know this from here we can also understand uh, other mechanism uh, that are exploitative within uh, a village society so uh, uh, fifth paragraph deals with that and uh, then uh, sixth paragraph a shopman and muni uh, are in uh, uh, further dialogue but uh, at the uh, at the end it it is clear that muni is not able to convince him to uh, uh, to lend to to give all these goods uh, on credit okay and uh, uh, then there are you know jokes and uh, other kinds of uh, um, um, things and right from the beginning to till here we have six paragraphs we can also notice uh, uh, style of writing uh, of r k narayan um, so it's not just simple style or but rather we should understand that uh, uh, how uh, the art of storytelling uh, uh, is uh, not uh, an average or a homogenized art but it is unique for example when you read a story you can uh, recognize that this should be ark narayan's writing now it is something like this when you listen to a piece of music you can recognize it is mozart or it is chopin or when you look at uh, uh, a painting you can say uh, this should be um, mf hussein okay so you look at if you if you can if you read watch mf hussein's one painting after that you can recognize all of his paintings because uh, the the stroke the lines the color the structure the texture you know that will be visible okay so that is the style so style is not something if it is it is it is simple or complex or something like that but you need to understand style in the sense that a writer or a painter or an actor okay for example say amitabh bachchan and his style of acting so wherever you you don't watch any of his movies but just listen to a radio play or the sound you can tell this should be him or any other so in that sense so rk narayan style uh, uh, what are the strokes what are the texture what kind of words does he use what kind of sentences he writes how does he develop his character okay how what is his sense of humor and uh, what kind of uh, uh, what kind of uh, uh, code switching is there a code switching that is switching from one language to other language is it uh, uh, or is it uh, translation is it uh, is it indian english or is it uh, british english okay does he write in uh, so what is the impact of uh, tamil of his own language on uh, his english you know so all of these uh, issues uh, will come up while reading this story because uh, style is uh, uh, is is the stamp is the signature is a signature and uh, uh, when we read it we we know it so malguri days for example um arkan arayan developed uh, an imaginary area called malguri there are some writers who developed uh, you know uh, their own on on geographical land okay say 
Marquez, okay, Gabriel Gabriel Garcia Marquez in uh, Brazil, uh, in Latin America. He developed one land called Macando, okay, and most of his novels uh, happen there. Similarly, um, um, Arkenarain. So his land is uh, you know the small uh, and uh, uh, so he he constructs uh, 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 a whole. Uh, geographical space and uh, people rivers i stories and everything in that area okay so as we go to uh, the seventh we come we we have uh, uh, um, more understanding about muni and his uh, uh, wife's uh, uh, relationship uh, the next uh, uh, scene that is a uh, uh, the story, uh, if we also see the story, divide the story into different scenes. So next fifth scene or eighth paragraph, uh, we, we, we know about uh, the marginalized uh, uh, status. Now, this is important. Okay, so the, we can read this, this, this story also, the story of the marginalized people uh, in India. Okay, and how does that marginalization marginalization happen? How is how does that marginalization uh, how how is it reflected in the psyche, in the body, in the house, in the food, in uh, uh, self uh, dignity? In so, in this paragraph, eighth paragraph, uh, we we know that Muni. Uh, has become a character who who is uh, ridiculed and uh, he doesn't um, often meet people he doesn't uh, meet people eye to eye and uh, it is only when he has left the village and he had, he is at the edge the margin the margin the outer part of the village so when he goes when he reaches the outer part of the village with his goats then he becomes himself okay so i think this is a very interesting paragraph from the point of view understanding uh, the colonized uh, mind the colonized i told you in other lecture also does not necessarily mean only british only uh, imperialism colonization can happen through caste it can happen through gender can happen through language can happen through uh, low economic status through you know so it ultimately results into a marginalization silence 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 is uh, uh, is another uh, important uh, aspect uh, of it so uh, and then post colonial uh, that assumes uh, another dimension uh, of uh, of modernity so you may agree or disagree with it uh, because you have to be critical okay at some point we see that uh, uh, colonization does not seem to be ending so where can we assume the beginning of post colonial period okay so uh, that is a very blurring line in any way uh, at your in first year for example your broader understanding of these issues will be will be sufficient okay so i am what i'm telling about this eight paragraph is the theme of marginality the consequences or the manifestations of marginal marginality in the embodiment uh, that is how they get embodied in life. Embodiment means, for example, what is mar marginality? Marginality is not having food. Marginality, having no employment. Marginality, you are elderly people and you have no um, social security. Marginality, uh, you are uh, you have worked as a, uh, as a shepherd throughout your life, but you have no land where you can graze your uh, goats. Marginality, that you have lived in this village, but uh, uh, because you did not have uh, children, uh, both of them did not have children, therefore 
uh, people talk about you um, in 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 so many uh, languages okay so uh, so that issue and uh, then you go to uh, paragraph uh, uh, number 9 and this paragraph uh, uh, about the horse okay uh, was nearly life size molded out of clay baked burnt okay and uh, brightly colored and reared its head proudly prancing its four legs in the air and flourishing its tail in loop beside the horse stood a warrior with now you see the description of uh, of this horse okay uh, that uh, perhaps was uh, the uh, center of attraction uh, for uh, the foreigner and this ninth, ninth paragraph uh, then uh, tells about uh, um, more about muni uh, who uh, who has seen the horse uh, not uh, seen but also uh, heard about it when he was born okay and uh, then the story proceeds uh, the muni sat at the foot of the statue watching his god's grace in the arid soil among the cactus and lantana bushes he looked at the sun it was tilted westward no doubt but it was not the time to go back home if he went too early his wife would have no food for him also he must give her time to cool off her temper and feel sympathetic and this is you know so the development area a great story so that conflict of one one conflict which uh, was of uh, thinking of having sauce with drumstick led to uh, led him to take the goats here okay so the plot in a way started there okay and uh, uh, and his uh, movement from uh, home after being disappointed by shop uh, man okay and uh, also uh, not uh, not really uh, letting his wife uh, angrier okay than uh, she was okay he arrives here and from here uh, the story will really get into the larger the real uh, central conflict okay from where uh, uh, the the climax will tell us uh, about what happened to the horse and what happened to these uh, two goats okay and then uh, the next paragraph 10th paragraph uh, is about the foreigner okay and uh, how he arrives and what he is looking for is it a, a, i mean uh, his uh, uh, vehicle needed more was he looking for a gas station okay and uh, then how uh, how the fuel okay uh, issue for him turns out uh, a very different kind of issue okay and uh, so 11 paragraph uh, uh, describes uh, the foreigner okay uh, the red faced man wore khaki clothes evidently a policeman or a soldier uh, muni said to himself now muni is telling so at this point now muni self talk that is uh, 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 he he starts assuming uh, about him and next paragraph uh, is uh, uh, the conversation now the conversation is, is uh, you know something you know uh, two persons are talking audible sounds are uttered and uh, to an extent they believe they understand each other uh, is it because of uh, the sounds of the language is it the uh, the uh, characters who uh, are who have uh, fell who who like uh, each other's presence or so we have to really uh, explore i mean what happens when we are talking to someone whose language we don't understand and uh, even then uh we keep on talking for for hours i have done that okay i have done that even even in tamil nadu uh in a village uh, i i generally stay in villages and all that kind of places 
and then uh, you see very interesting uh, dialogues happen and then uh, next paragraph uh, muni muni uh, tells him about his name and uh, uh, other uh, other uh, uh, his other of other details uh, and uh, next paragraph number 13 uh the foreigner faithfully looked at uh, the direction indicated by by muni uh, muni tells him some direction and uh, then muni keeps on uh, talking about uh, uh, his life okay and uh, then this uh, cigarette smoke so cigarette is in a way uh, something that will connect them okay Uh, because it is visible and uh, 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 both of them understand it okay so so another you know uh, some object comes into uh, that kind of communication where language was not really connecting them but they were connected to the sound to the sound of their languages uh, their languages okay and somehow he tells at one place that uh, your language is wonderful now uh, which means uh, the like the sound of your language is wonderful okay and uh, then he tells he keeps on telling he come from new york and look out a wallet and pocket and presents him a card okay so visiting card okay that would create another problem because he will think that maybe this is some kind of uh, warrant okay that he has come to arrest him because of that mutilated body and uh, so uh, so this story uh, here we have the fear in the conversation where things must go and must not go um, so story uh, is very dramatic okay so a drama at the same time is built uh, in the story and uh, then uh, muni reacted to relax atmosphere by smiling himself please please go away sir i know nothing i promise we hold with him with you and bad character around and so he's explaining that uh, no we never uh, indulge into uh, this kind of uh, um, this kind of activity okay and uh, then uh, the next paragraph uh, 15th uh, uh, they uh, talk about uh, 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 india why why the foreigner has come to india and uh, then that he thinks everybody can speak english in india but why is it he is speaking so uh, creating that uh, that problem and uh, uh, meanwhile uh, that issue of uh, uh, buying horse has also uh, crept in and this is how uh, it goes the american watches his hands intent intently and i know i i, I know what you mean chop something maybe i am holding you up and you want to chop wood and so conversation goes on and uh, both of them tell about their backgrounds so in this conversation we know more about uh, this american where he comes from what kind of land he comes from who is his wife what are his children what is his job and uh, so we come to know that he is uh, in the business of coffee okay so another you know important uh, colonial uh, good okay so coffee tea sugar you know these are uh, those colonial goods that uh, uh, for that you know the whole project of colonization uh, actually turned human into slavery okay say say uh, sugar or uh, sugar cane or cotton or coffee okay um, indigo okay so uh, for that you know war were fought and then ultimately people in uh, in in europe or in america they were uh, you know um, they were trying to build their business and taking all that object to uh, world market and there okay so something that connects the two is the word coffee after yes or no so yes or no and third word is coffee which is for tamil speaker is coffee okay and uh, then uh, it goes on and uh, uh, 
on one hand muni talks about his uh, myth mythical understanding so one thing we learn that uh, muni was not uh, muni, muni was deprived of education because of his caste but he was uh, loaded with uh, mythology because uh, the caste that deprived him of education would not deprived him of the indian mythology now what is the relationship of the two okay and how does that uh, mythical tale how do the mythical tales um, you know uh, help in uh, uh, keeping the caste structure together okay uh, letting it not fall apart okay so is there a role of uh, mythology is there a role of uh, all of these uh, narratives and stories okay that uh, incarnation for for example particularly so he talks of the nine incarnations and uh, then he his he interprets his life and his fortune and his economic status by means of these mythical tales and that is where the the trap is of the tradition and modernity okay so this is how uh, uh, the the uh, next pages uh, uh, go on and uh, then uh, the situation the location does not change okay and the conversation keeps on happening and uh, uh, finally uh, you see uh, as i told in the story uh, he buys the goats uh, i mean he buys the horse whereas uh, muni sells him goats he gets the money and comes back uh, leaving goats behind uh, he disappears from the uh, spot and uh, uh, englishman takes away the horse whereas the goats reach back to home okay and uh, the wife then delivers one uh, that dialogue ki yadi tum chor nikle to main apne sasural chale jaungi okay now this is interesting now they are 70 and still you know unconscious that women uh, still you know feeling dependent on uh, on her uh, parents okay and she's very old now okay and uh, uh, so that you know the end actually tells us the other uh, dimension of uh, uh, what does it mean to be a woman in a patriarchal society and then uh, um, we see how the color the 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 red man or the red faced man or american or english you know he takes away the uh, oldest uh, uh, example of the preserved culture of that village okay now that's another interesting dimension of uh, the colonial uh, way of thinking okay when you go to america or england in their museums you can find lot of artifacts from different parts of the world uh, africa or india and so on so forth uh, in one of the museums in oxford for example uh, i saw one section that was entirely dedicated to elephants okay and there they tell about the 19th century 18th century uh, elephants and uh, uh, similarly in um, one of the uh, largest museums of the world um, in in paris okay uh, there, there are number of sections where you have all these artifacts uh, gathered uh, taken away forcibly taken away bought or somehow from different parts of the world during colonial period and they are now uh, on exhibition and we pay for example 40 dollar or 50 dollar um, for one widget okay uh, so what's the point the point is uh, not just you know 50 dollar or something you see so col the colonizer the 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 person who is the foreigner okay takes away something uh, that would be uh, his dream and uh, uh, indian that is muni takes home money currency okay that is his dream okay and the wife is uh, really surprised because she doesn't want to suffer from the stigma of uh, of a husband who turned out to be a thief at the age of 